Hi guys. Well, it's been a long day. I worked all day today. But you know, I gotta get my craft on. <laughs> Last night and today, I started making some new flowers. If y'all remember, I had made these flowers and I showed y'all how to make them. If y'all, if you haven't seen them, you can go look in my tutorial. This is just white cardstock paper I used and you curl the flowers. So I showed y'all how I made all of these little flowers. Any hoo hoo. And then if y'all remember, I made the roses, the little roses and the big roses. So then I decided I wanted to make some different flowers and trying to remember who I saw make them. It's not my original idea, so I want to give credit where credit's due. Let me, I've got my phone here to look at her name because I knew I would forget. Y'all know how I am. My memory escapes me. But I saw how she made it and of course I tweaked it to make it work for me because Y'all know how I am. I don't like to measure stuff. Um, gift Basket Appeal. That's Gift Basket Appeal. I saw it on her channel. And she made them like this. Real big. And then this one, I just did two different color papers and did it this size. And I made another one right here like this but you know they're cute and all but I thought they were kind of big so I decided to make some a little smaller then I even went a little smaller but this is my favorite size right here I make it like this yeah, I'm doing it all crooked and stuff anyway I made these two and then I made these two. I like these. These are with the cactus paper. I think they just come out so pretty. And I put a button in the middle of them. And then I made this one. And this was with the... I forgot which paper pad it was. But anyway, I, I like this color. It's got like different colors in it. And then here's the real tiny ones. I made this is like some script writing stock paper and then I got these right here I made and I'm going to show y'all how I made them so you get a six by six paper like this you know your six by six paper and you just take your paper like this and you can use your cutting board if you want to. I just use the scissors and I just cut it maybe a quarter of an inch. I make them kind of, mine kind of skinny. I like them better skinny than fat. And you just cut eight pieces. Eight pieces like this. Now, I think six by six is too long. So... I cut mine to about four and a half, and no, I don't measure. I just took all eight pieces, and I just snipped it off like that. And to me, that's four and a half. And then you take this right here, and what I did was I put the two ends together, and then I, I just pinched it to make a little score line in it. And then let me do it like this so y'all can see. And so then you take this in there. Can you see the score line? And you take you take your glue. And I use this glue because Tina's going to be sending me some um, glue when she orders it. I forgot the name of it, but it's supposed to be some good glue. And anyway, so you take your little glue. I glue it on each end. On each end of the little paper on the inside. And I take it and where my little score line is, I just fold it there. And then I take this side and I fold it there and I got two little pieces. See like that? Mm -hmm. 
and then you just hold it for a second because it's glue. You can use hot glue if you want to, but I'm just using wet glue. And then you hold it down, let it dry. Now, can let me move my phone because it's all in my business. Okay, so then, let me see if y'all can see this real good. Okay, then you take your little pieces. You got eight pieces, okay? And then I just pick some. And where the inside is glued right there, I put that up on the bottom. On the bottom when I put the first one up. And then on the inside where they're glued together, I put a little bit of glue, like so. That's French for like that. Like so, you know. And then you just make like a little X. And you just hold it down for a minute. Then you take another one. On the inside now, guys, the inside. You know, the ones that you glued together on the inside. And then after you make your X, you come across and you put one down the middle, like that, like so. And then you take this one, okay, you got it down the middle, then you come and it's like you're making another X where the holes are open right there and you glue one right there. And then you take this one. Okay, and then you're going to come across where there's an opening right there and put it right there. And then you take this one. We on number six. You come across right here. It's kind of like you're making a bunch of X's. <laughs> and you put that one right there. Then you take this one. Let's see. And we're going to come around right here. And then you take your last one and glue a little bit. Of course, y'all know me. And you just put it right there. I don't know what a little bit is. Then I'm using buttons. You can use whatever embellishment for the middle that you want to use. I thought I had a button ready for this, but I don't remember where I put it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know when you're trying to craft when you're tired? Hmm. I don't know what I did with that button. Well, here's a white one. That'll be pretty. I like the blue one in there, though. Let's put the blue button. And you just take a little bit of glue. I put it on the bottom of my button. And I just stick it in the middle. And I just hold it down for a second, a couple of seconds, and let it dry. Now, I haven't fluffed them up yet. Like, see how fluffy this is? And let me show you how you, I want it to, the glue to kind of dry a little bit. See, it'll look like this if you don't fluff it up. And I kind of like that. Maybe I shouldn't fluff them all up. I kind of like this. But to fluff it up, all you do is you take the, uh, hold it in the middle, and you just take it where the middle is and just kind of squeeze them down, give them a little fluff. But see, I think it looks better when you, like these, I cut them a little bigger, wider. So if you cut them a little skinnier, I like, I'm liking the way this one looks. See, I had to make all those to see that I like this one the best. Because <laughs> see how fluffy these are? They the same identical. The only difference is one's fluffed up and one's not. So let me show you all my little flowers here. So I made all these flowers. I'm trying to show y'all. Let me just put this right here, like this. Well, these are the itty bitty ones. I call them the itty bitty committee. And then I made all these right here. I like this size, which I think. Y'all like this size, like right here? To me, this makes this makes them look like two different flowers. This one's not fluffed, and this one is fluffed. And all you have to do to fluff it up is you just kind of 
squeeze it kind of open right here at the end once you get them all glued in and position yeah I'm liking that mm -hmm. and I hope y'all understand how I'm telling y'all to do it because we're already at 10 minutes so you got this one and this one now you can make them whatever size you want. If you want to make them itty bitty like this, or you want to make them medium like this, this is about four inches right here, or you can make them big and this is a six, the six by six right here and right here. These are the big ones. I prefer, I think, this size right here, the four inches. I like these. I just think you can put them on more stuff. Make sure, but like, see how these I cut them wider. I think if you cut them a little skinnier, like I cut these skinnier. I like the skinnier ones. But I also like this, the fluffy ones. So it's up to you how you want to cut them. So again, you just take your cardstock, which is a six by six, right here, and you just take your your scissors and you make it as skinny or as wide as you want it. Now, once you get them all the size you want, like I had cut this one, because I want to cut them all the same size, because I'm gonna make another one. You just cut it all up, and then, then you fold them in half. You take this after you cut it, and I make the two ends meet down here, and score that little end. Then you open it up, and you put glue on each end. Then you, you fold it into the middle where your little crease is, right here. And then you have the little piece. That's it. And then you stack them on top of each other. That's how you make it. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about my little flowers. Now, y'all remember that it wasn't my original idea. It was Gift Basket Appeals' original idea. But I think she said she got the idea from... It's one of these internet things y'all go to. Some pin, Pinterest or Pinterest something something with Pinterest or Pinterest or something some kind of little site like that she went to and she got the idea from there but I got the idea from her because I never met Pinterest I don't know what that is yet I'm still learning about these internets these are the large ones these are the medium Mm -hmm. oh, I'm trying to hold it right so you can see it in the medium so yep guys that's what I wanted to show y'all my little flower excursion I started doing look I found the button guys <laughs> I was going to put this button in there but I ended up putting this one it don't matter whatever I make all these flowers and then I don't know what to do with them but I did make some of these small ones because it's got the writing in it because I thought the Mad Crafter might like it because she likes maps and she likes papers with writing on it. I thought she might like that. I, I might make her some medium ones too. Some little embellishments before I send her little package off to her. So I wanted to just show y'all what I made because I want y'all to know even though I'm working these two jobs, I'm still crafting. I'm trying. And I went to three Tuesday mornings, and guess what? I didn't get my downtown Abbey bow dye, the grand bow. I'm so upset. None of my Tuesday mornings have any of the Downton Abbey anythings. So, oh well, I guess I didn't need it. I just want it. But that's okay. So, yep, guys, y'all know what time it is, right? Wrap your arms around yourself. Squeeze real tight. I'm giving you a hug. 
a big hug. And if no one's told you today, I'm going to tell you. I love you. You are beautiful. You are special. And God loves you too. Leave me a comment below, guys. And if y'all like these DIY videos, give me a thumbs up. Bye.